Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a program okay, to store the output to the text files. Okay. Last previous video, we were just discussing about uh, character oriented stream and byte oriented stream. So, this uh, our text files comes under by, uh, character oriented stream. Okay. We are going to uh, explain you with an uh, example program how to store the output to the text files here you are not going to store the out, uh, show the output on the monitor you are going to store it into the file so the output will be stored into the text file okay so you are going to see in steps the steps needed to follow in order to use text files in your program so step 1 create a file writer stream type object as per the following syntax so you need to first create uh, file writer stream so here you can see file writer that is a keyword you can see capital F and capital W okay you have to write as a single word file writer and the object name stream object name equal to new operator file writer within uh, bracket you have to write the text file name so whatever file you are going to uh, name it so you are going to give the name beforehand and you are going to uh, store all the data into this file so example you can see file writer fw equal to new file writer okay names.txt so this is the file name we are going to create okay if suppose the uh, na names.txt is not available it automatically creates the file writer objects creates an output stream using the default encoding scheme that is nothing but unicode so in java it uses unicode step 2 link the file writer object that you created with buffer writer object as per the following syntax now you already created file writer object right fw which you are going to uh, link it to the next object that is buffer writer so you have to write buffered writer single word capital b and capital w so buffered writer and you have to create an uh, stream object name here equal to new operator and then you have buffered writer and then the file writer object so you created a file writer object you remember you created fw so you can see an example buffered writer bw equal to new buffered writer fw so fw is the object which you already created using file writer so that has been uh, linked to this buffered writer okay the buffered writer object creates a buffer for stream created uh, with file writer so uh, you already we already discussed about what is a buffer it takes the data from the keyboard and it will be stored in the memory so that the uh, time duration okay where the data are stored but, uh, before you write it into the file you call it as buffering so the buffer writer filter is used for storing the data step 3 now link the buffered writer object with the print writer object as per the following syntax so print writer is the uh, object which is used to store it into the text file so it is like taking the input from the keyboard okay and keep it in the memory and then store it into the file okay so print writer stream object name equal to new print writer buffer writer object so already uh, fw is linked to bw now bw is linked to pw so you can see print writer pw equal to new print writer bw so all these three are linked <coughs> so file writer uh, buffer writer buffer writer and print writer all these three uh, objects have been created and it has been linked properly the same order okay so that you can use it in the file uh, that is use it in the program the print writer object is resp responsible for writing characters on to the text file you link with uh, file writer object so this is the uh, object which is used for storing the actual data into your text file now it look like this you will have a program okay and then you have a print writer and then which will be linked to the uh, buffered writer buffered writer is linked to the file writer and this is the address okay this is how it is stored so print writer stream will uh, provide the necessary filtering the buffer writer stream will provide the buffering and the file writer will provide the content okay now step 4 after completing it you are going to uh, write any characters or text from your program with print writer object using either print or println method so you already know what is print and println print object uh, print will uh, display it in the same line 
print a line, we will break the line and display it in another line, right? So, here you can use pw dot print, that is print writer object dot print or print writer object dot print a line. This is the syntax and the message whatever you want to store, that is string whatever you want to store, okay? Here uh, you can see an example pw dot print, okay? So, a uh, message has been given, a uh, string has been given within double quotes and then pw dot print a line. So, this is just an example which, where how you can uh, print the values into the file, not into onto the monitor. This one you will not print the uh, print it onto the monitor because you ought to use system out for using that system out dot print, right? System out dot print align. But here you are not going to use, you are going to use print writer which is used to store the output into the text file. So, the buffered writer object creates a buffer in uh, for the stream created with file writer. Okay. So, step 5. Once you are through with everything, just close the stream chain by cl uh, using close with all stream objects. So, you remember uh, the uh, order which you created. Okay. So, you have to use stream object dot uh, close. So, the order you created is FW, file writer, then buffered writer and print writer. But when you close it, you have to close it in reverse order. First, you have to create, you have to close uh, PW, that is print writer, you are closing that object. Then uh, buffered writer, you are closing next. And then finally, you are closing FW, that is nothing but file writer. So, this is the order you are going to close. Okay. Now, uh, you can uh, write it in a program like this. So, this is, this is the steps you are going to write in a program file writer fw equal to new file writer names.txt this is the file name now next line that is semicolon after the next line buffered writer bw equal to new buffered writer fw so you are linking the file writer object into buffered writer and the last line print writer pw equal to new print writer bw so that means all these three are linked the same thing can be written in a single line so start with print writer pw equal to new print writer within bracket the previous one new buffered writer again with, within another in uh, nested uh, nested uh, parenthesis you can write new uh, file writer and again inside another bracket you can write names .x. so the same all these three lines can be written in one line like this okay so start from print writer then uh, buffered writer then then file writer inside that the file name so instead of writing three lines you can write it in a single line now the program Example program to read names of five students through keyboard and store them into a file names.txt. So, this is the question word is given. So, we are going to see how to uh, write program using uh, the character stream, right? Now, first one is import java.io.asterisk. So, this is the uh, line you have to use to use the package, java.io package and whatever classes are used in the io package will be included using this import keyword. Now you got a class name, output text, and system print uh, public static void main. Okay, and whenever you use uh, buffered, that is uh, this type of program, IO package, you have to use throws IO exception because you have a lot of buffering there. You have a lot of data, so will be stored. If there is a problem, if there is an error, uh, this uh, throws keyword will catch that input and output error, and it will not uh, stop your program from execution. So that is the reason you are using throws io exception so this line is a must when you use io package right now you are going to write buffered reader br equal to new buffered reader uh, in in within the bracket new input stream reader system dot in you remember this line uh, in previous classes you have learned this whenever you use buffered reader because uh, here you are not going to use any scanner object okay when you are going to use scanner object you have to use scanner util right util package so you since you are using IO package, instead of uh, scanner object, you are going to create buffer object. So, right, you are going to write buffered reader br equal to uh, new buffered reader within bracket new system in uh, input stream reader system in. System in is nothing but the input you are going to get it from the keyboard. Okay. So, the system uh, input whatever you are going to get it into the keyboard which will be stored in uh, input stream reader. And that in turn will be stored in BR, that is buffered reader. Now you are going to go to the next line, which you already discussed, print writer, PW equal to new print writer, within bracket, new buffered writer, within bracket uh, you got 
new file writer and the file name which you are going to create. So name dot text. Then you have to close all the parentheses and semicolons. So, so these are the two important lines. So again I am saying you first line is to get the input from the keyboard. Second line is to store it into the file. So right. Now you are going to use uh, because since it is said uh, read names of five students. I am using a loop statement to execute the statement five times. System out print enter the name. So this enter the name will be executed five times. And now you are going to get the uh, name and it will be whatever na name you are going to get through the keyboard it will be stored in uh, name which is of string type. B or read, read line is the input statement whenever you use buffer reader object you have to use that is uh, input on output stream it uses read line as the input statement. Okay, So this will take the input from the keyboard and it will be stored in the variable name which is of in, uh, string type. Now next line you can see pw.println name. So here since you use println it prints the name uh, one below the other. But where it is going to print it is not going to print on the screen it is going to print into the file. That means you are not going to get the output. Okay. And then finally pw.close. Here I used only pw.close. Reason is once you close the innermost object automatically the remaining object also will be closed that's the reason otherwise you can use uh, three different types of close so all the five steps has been covered here so what happens when you execute it the terminal window appears where you are going to enter all the names five times you are going to enter some uh, five different names okay so once you do that you cannot see the terminal window right it will be stored into the file now where to find this in in your uh, uh, in your program that right, is in your system right normally it will be stored in my documents okay and under whichever package you created you would have created some package in your name so under that package you will uh, you will see a text file you can see a text file and the name uh, is nothing but names which is you already created just double click on it you can see it will open a notepad window with the names which you entered okay and one more benefit in this is you can always edit or you can add more names okay directly okay it is not necessary that you have to use through programming you can enter the names here in notepad automatically it can be retrieved in the file because it has been stored into the file okay it is whatever data are uh, stored into the notepad file which can be it can be retrieved and another way of appending the text file, one way is you can enter the name in notepad, increase the number of names that automatically uh, will be updated. Second method is you can uh, append it through program. So, okay, When you output some data in text files, previous data simply get erased. That means if you create name.txt again, that means you are going to execute the program again for the second time and you enter some other data. So what happens is? the old data gets erased okay that means it creates another uh, text file okay which is been uh, created for the uh, that is uh, it is it is created uh, for the first time okay already you created the uh, text file but it look like uh, you are going to creating for the first time so it will replace if the name is already available okay file name is already available it replaces the old file you don't want to do that you want to retain the old content and append the new content just create the file writer object as follows so here you can see file writer object name equal to new file writer then the file name comma you should use a keyword called true so you can see in the program new file writer only that part has been taken so names.txt is the file name comma true so this word what happens is whenever you create whenever you execute the same program for uh, uh, adding up the names into the uh, into the file this keyword true will append the text that is whatever names you are going to add on to the file can be added through this keyword true if this keyword true is missing whenever you execute the program the old file will be replaced by the new file so hope you understood this video we'll meet you in the next video till then thank you